black beans, I think they have a really distinct taste. And if you don't like them, you know, it's, it, it's hard to have any recipe with them in. I think the combination of the pumpkins, the tomatoes, all that kind of takes the, the edge off the black beans and you don't really know that it's pumpkin, so if you don't like pumpkin, you do not, you're gonna say, oh, I'm not gonna eat that soup because it's punk, pumpkin. It's just a really, really good blend. I don't need this yet. So we're gonna start with some onion. We'll go ahead and melt some butter in here. And we're gonna puree part of this so that we have, okay. I don't seem to have it together tonight. So we have sort of a, um, I would, you know, it almost reminds you of kind of a cream um, soup, but yet it has no cream in it. But it has that sort of creamy con uh, consistency, which I thought was, was good. I like that. Get this started, and then we'll put the gar the uh, garlic in. And the garlic is four teaspoons of garlic, which is right here. We'll put that there. All right, we'll take our black beans. Now, I did rinse these off. We're going to put two cans in here. Rain and rinse. Amazing, I can do that without a can opener, huh? Okay, and one can of the diced tomatoes. And you don't have to drain these. That's going to give you the juice for all this to kind of go together. Okay, and here are onions sizzling. That sounds good. We'll go ahead and put our garlic in. And remember, whenever you put garlic in this, we don't want to burn it. So we got to keep your eye on it. All right, we're going to turn our food processor on. Now this doesn't ever get to be where it's really smooth and doesn't have any kind of, it doesn't have lumps in it, but the skins from the black beans, you have like flecks of black in there. All right, now to this, we're going to go ahead and we'll let it cook down a little bit. Well, we've got, um, this is four cups of beef broth and I did get the low sodium. Um, we're gonna add a can of beans whole we're going to add a little salt and pepper and our red wine vinegar. And that's all there is. To, oh, and our pumpkin, which has not been opened. Okay, we're ready here on this. So we're going to go ahead and add our puree in there. This is a funny kid. Like I said, this is not the best looking soup, but I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. But it is the best tasting soup. Okay. Yeah, it's talking. Okay, we'll get our beef broth in here. Let's see if we can get it to stop talking a minute. So I guess that's what they do in uh, Texas is bring you fresh bread when you go visit a church. So write that down for future reference, anybody. Do they fresh bread? Oh, see, we do cookies at our church. I didn't know they did bread. Where do they do bread? <laughs> Just in case.
case I need to know, you know. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, that sounds like a good idea to go ahead and start visiting some places. No, I hadn't heard that. I knew, you know, they usually do cookies or something for um, visitors, but all right, we need about half this can, but fresh bread, I think that's probably a good idea. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you need cookies too. I go to Colonial Heights Presbyterian. And I was trying to think when I, when I was visiting there whether I did get cookies. I don't know. I'm sure I did. We should check that out sometime and just go visiting. All right, stir that up. We'll get our vinegar in here. Yes, I think so. This, the, the vinegar, you can, um, you know, when you get this all blended in here, it, you kind of taste it, but um, I think if it's, it's more of the acidity in there to give it, you know, just a little bit of a spark. Okay, now, I think this would be perfect soup, but it also calls for a little bit of ham. So we will keep this heating while we get our ham ready. And whenever I, whenever I put ham in soup, I always like to just buy the regular sliced ham, because then when you put it in there, it sort of, um, there's littler pieces rather than like big, you know, big chunks. So either way, you can either go to the deli, you know, leftover ham, perfect. Um, or you can go to the deli and ask them to cut you a big slice, you know, big thick slice, and uh, cube that. I just like to use this. So, and that's like I said, just regular. And I just cut it. Should we get all the pumpkin kind of stirred up in here. I think I'm going to move it over here and let's just keep it on low while we simmer that. We'll go ahead and put the ham in it. All right, stir that up and move that over here. Okay. We'll just let this sort of blend all the flavors together. And like I said, it's not the best looking soup, but it really tastes, it, once you get the people to taste it, it's good. All right. So we'll let that, I'll turn that off. Okay. This might be a nice meal with a, a soup with it, not necessarily this soup, but you know. Okay, so there's our pumpkin soup.